Okay, so this would be picking back up where we left off of the 30-day uh, project for what we're doing for YouTube. Um, start from scratch. Uh, basically, uh, motion control system with state state controlled through an HMI system, which is Factory Talk SE 7.0. Um, and this is day four, so uh, without further ado, we'll go ahead and add some maybe more um, this basically structure of what we put in before. Kind of recap, uh, this is it all emulated. Um, we've added our UDT for our motion, basic motion instructions. Um, we've added the axes we're going to be doing, all, all virtual axes, because again, this is uh, basically all going to be uh, no hardware at all. So he's a, somebody could do this. If they have an emulator, they can do this same, very same thing. Um, so without further ado, we'll, we'll go ahead and add the uh, the access program in there. <clears throat> Alright, so uh, what I'd like to do is change the uh, main access num right here. I will change this to actually have um, you know different uh, all the axes in there. So what we'll do is we'll call this I'm sorry, let's go ahead and change the property here and we'll call this access program access one and we'll do that and then we'll add another one and we'll say access again uh, program access two and we'll keep adding these in there until we get all four of these axes in there. And this is just getting the basic structure. And this, like I said, this will all tie together as soon as we get further into this. But as I make it, um, you know, this, this will start making sense. Okay, so now we have all four axes in there. We want to throw in our mains in each one, right? So our main, uh, sorry, routine. And throw in our main routine in each one of these. As a matter of fact, let's just Oops, spelled that wrong. Let's just make this quick and just copy this, All right? That way we go into here, paste. Okay, so we got our main routines in there. Um, we want to go ahead and add the rest of our routines that we're going to be using for that. So uh, for each one of these, we're going to have a control main and this would be used for the basic control you know on off and stuff stuff of that nature so we'll go ahead and do that for each one of these uh, we don't have to worry about changing the name because this is in the uh, program the actual it's it's separated by the uh, program itself so we don't have to worry about that they won't overlap or anything of that nature so they're all itemized to that exact location so the next thing we want to add is uh, basically our draws so remember I talked about we're going to run everything off the virtual axis so uh, we want to have individual draw control um, so of each of each one of these axes so we'll say um, Draw control. Let's say this axis draw control. And just like I said, just to save time, uh, you know, we'll copy and paste these. Okay, so as we get this further in, routine starting to 
take a little structure here, right? Okay, so the next one we want to do is the home. You know, we want to make sure we do it. Um, the axis, axis home. And that's, that's basically where we'll do our homing features, um, just to keep it kind of structured, uh, not necessarily, so it's not just all in one, jumbled up in one, one routine, you know, we want to keep it. So if it's easily, you can easily go in through it and look at things and find it, kind of like to break, down, break things down like that so they're easily findable. You know, if you want to come in here and say, okay, well, this is the main routine, this is the spot where we control the draws, this is a spot where we do the axis homing, this is a spot where we do actually control on off, um, that stuff of that nature. Um, you know, as far as that goes. Yeah, um, so we'll leave this as is right now. Uh, what we'll do is we'll come down and uh, we'll revisit the, uh, the virtual master down here. So we want to have, <coughs> in the virtual master, what we want to have is we want to have the uh, basically the same things the control like the control initiation um, we want to have initialization I should say um, come back and we'll have the control for the virtual axis virtual master And then we'll come back and we'll do speed calculations. So, speed calculations. Okay, so uh, what we want to do in each one of these is we want to go ahead and add our routines, jump to subroutines. So, let's do the JSRs. For each one of these, add and again JSR, JSR. So we want to make sure we put these all, all of our. Uh, and I didn't mean to put main routine right there because it's called a mission, uh, you know, from the start. So all we're doing is, is right here is we're linking all the main routine right here that's being called so the the main the main routine is linked from the main program and we're using the jump subroutine from the main program to uh, all the, or the main routine to all the rest of these routines so let's go ahead and do that for the, the access stuff we did up here so again we'll we'll add I think this has four right uh, three okay so JSR and then we'll come back and like I said we'll add all these um, in each one of each one of these axes And I could have just went ahead and did, you know, did this kind of save some time. But I, like I said, I, I kind of like to show the full process, you know, as far as how that goes. Um, you know, the, the start from scratch, you know, just have it fully done so that there's any, if there's any question, it's answered. Okay, so we got those done. Come down and add control. This is going to be the draw of system home and the draw. And then the last one will be up here. We'll add one more. OK, 
Okay, so this would be the draw control. X home and then the control. Okay, so to kind of recoup uh, or recap, I should say, recap. Um, what we did is we added our draw control, which is basically our speed difference between our virtual master, our speed controls down here. Um, so whatever the speed calculation of our virtual master would, based upon the draw control, would be the speed of the servo of this of servo one. Two, three, and four. We have our uh, homing scenario, so we act, we home all the axes. You know, we come in and we can individually home all the axes. We have our main control. Uh, our main control for each axis would be basically your ons or offs, your um, you know fault resets, uh, stuff of that nature. You know, to basically making sure that the servo uh, independently is healthy um, and then basically we'll get a summation and send the, the summing back to the uh, system for the virtual master uh, and then once the virtual master and all is, is linked and we'll come back in the main program and add a control section that would basically sum all this up and say okay everything is is ready so we know it is ready in the state machine then we can go ahead and start running right so uh, what we can do as well is we can put a homing scenario for the virtual master. Uh, generally speaking, the virtual master is just going to run. Um, but say, for instance, you wanted to home it for some reason, you could. Um, in this instance, we're just going to leave it running uh, like it is. Um, we may come back and put a home later just to kind of talk through it real quick, you know, just, you know, just to kind of throw it out there. Um, what we can do too is we'll throw in a couple of state stuff. Um, so in this instance, we want to throw in, these will be all uh, structured text. So machine sectional state, and then that'd be first. the first one. Uh, we'll come back in the second one. Add another one, and we'll call this. Uh, we want to keep track of your next state, and this would be for HMI use. And then we want to keep track of the previous. Okay, so that'll be that, and then we'll have. Um, let's see, we'll have one more for that, which would be. Uh oh, I open up tags. Hold on, sorry. We'll wait till the screen pops up. We'll close it back down. All right, so we're not going to import anything. Um, okay, so uh, this will be a ladder back to ladder logic, and we'll call this uh, machine state control. So we'll have um, the state control, we'll have the inputs, the outputs, um, and then we can, we can come back and put the, like a, a summation of, of whatever. Uh, but to start off with, we'll put the, uh, we'll have the, the sectional state machine right here in the state machine state. Uh, we'll have the next states as far as just graphical layouts of uh, something we're going to do on the HMI. Previous state is, again, something we're going to do for uh, HMI. And what we can do is come back in here to main program, throw our JSRs in here. Um, JSR, JSR, and we have what, four of those now? So, okay, so this would be previous, this would be next, and again, all of this will lay into uh, you know be fully understandable as soon as we get you know, this stuff kind of rolling um, but to kind of break this down if you looked at it like right now the way it would be structured you can kind of come in here and see exactly how it, it it's going to work right you have your virtual access stuff you have your state machine stuff 
Um, we don't have anything in the control scheme right now. Uh, we have all of our individual servo controls and that's basically our first layout of, you know, as far as exactly the routines and stuff of that nature, programs, and um, the hierarchy of, of basically how things are going to lay out. Um, so, again, this is day four. Uh, we're at the 15 minute mark, so I'll go ahead and stop the video at this point. But, um, so to recap, we added our, our programs for each one, each servo. We added our uh, routines for each each uh, each one of those programs we added the routines for the state machine and then we added the routines for the virtual master came back and we did our JSRs for all of this and we got the system uh, basically the skeleton of the system put in and it's easily read and uh, that basically shows everything that uh, you know you need to get started so uh, Again, we're at the 16-minute mark, so uh, we'll go ahead and stop this. On, this will be day four. I'll throw in the other uh, other videos we had before this in case you wanted to backtrack and look at that again. Or if you've just seen this from this point on, you can backtrack and look at the, where we, we first started from. But um, again, I, I appreciate your support, and we'll go ahead and pick up where we left, left off in uh, the next, very next day, which will be day five. And I uh, appreciate your support. Appreciate uh, appreciate your time. Thank you.